Hello everyone, and today I actually wanted to bring you a video of this mess. Uh, this is actually uh, an electric motor that I'm making, and I know it looks like a complete mess right now, but uh, when it's done it'll actually look quite clean. Uh, but I wanted to bring this uh, to you to, to show you a, a little bit about how electric motors work, and this is actually uh, something I'm thinking about making into a little series, uh, because when I started uh, playing around and learning how electric motors work, um, I realized there's not a lot of information out there. Um, there are a few websites that'll help you out, but really there's not a lot out there in terms of the specifics of how it works. So really this is actually just a little teaser. Um, this right here, uh, I'm not going to open it up today, but there's actually uh, a stator and a rotor with some magnets in there. And so it is a permanent magnet, uh, electrically commutated or brushless motor. And here's all the transistors for it. I'm actually using uh, rather large Darlington transistors. Uh, don't know if you can see in there very well, but they're actually quite large. I think each one of them, and here's three of them, can handle 10 amps. And so I've got really nine of them hooked up, uh, three to each phase. So they can draw a lot of amperage. I mean, theoretically, they could be drawing, you know, as much as 90 amps. I don't think they're up quite that high yet because of uh, some of the cords and things that I've used in here. Or not cords, but, um, you know, magnet wire that I've used, the sizes and so forth. Uh, this is all eventually going to be cleaned up quite nicely. In fact, uh, what I've been experimenting with, although it's even going to be better than this, is actually using uh, PCIe connectors right here. And then uh, I'm actually going to use uh, a 24-pin connector for all of the wires coming out of, out of here and connecting to two P PCIe ones uh, coming out of here, one for the sensor, one for the, the power wires themselves. This does actually work. It does turn on, although it's not... Uh, perfect by all means yet, but this whole obsession of mine really started uh, a couple of years ago when my parents got rid of their vacuum cleaner motor, and they just decided to give it to me. Oh, well, they got rid of the vacuum and gave the motor to me, and I thought, well, hey, maybe I could fit, uh, you know, some go-kart tires on here and, and make a little go-kart. Well, for various reasons, that, that didn't actually work out. Uh, most of them don't fit on a shaft this small. I know I could use bushings and other things, but there are other issues too. This is designed to run on 120 volts, and it's a universal motor. It will actually work on either AC or DC. Uh, however, it spins quite slowly when it's not connected to that high of a voltage. So I ended up abandoning that, and you can see some of the other uh, ones I've made in the past, just experimenting with different wires and different shapes and different numbers of poles. This is uh, a stator that I made um, before I end up deciding to go with a hub motor shape, and I'll get into that in future episodes. But um, for this one now, I just wanted to turn it on and show you that it does in fact work. Right now I'm actually just using a, uh, a car booster pack, although I do have some batteries, some uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries picked out that, uh, that I will be connecting to later in the finished product. Uh, I'm also in the process of making another stator for another one, and uh, if you don't already know, of course, uh, these work best if you make them in laminations to avoid uh, eddy currents and, and uh, hysteresis and other things. Uh, you have special metals, and uh, because I don't have access to laser cutters, I have to manually cut out each individual uh, piece myself. But I'll be getting to that more in later videos, so if you ever had uh, a desire to learn about the way electric motors work, uh, but you know, never really uh, found the right resources. I'm going to help you out with that, including uh, the starter kit that I actually bought from a really good website, and I'm going to be putting a link to that in the description. And in another video later, I'll show you how it works. But without further ado, here it is. Uh, because only two of the three um, phases are hooked up right now, I do have to spin it to start it just to make sure it starts. But otherwise, it works just fine. There you go. Uh, like I said, I don't actually know how many uh, amps this is drawing, so until I get an amp meter that'll read a lot more, I'm not going to let it go for too long, but that's showing about 50 
RPM. Nope, there we go. A lot more, 315 RPM. Um, the final version will get up uh, quite a bit higher than that, but uh, that is approximately nine miles an hour based on the size of the wheel. So uh, definitely some improvements to be made, but uh, that is all for today. Thanks for watching. Subs uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Like if you like. Um, leave comments. Tell me what else you want to see or, or how it can improve. And of course, have a great day.